welcome to 5 Minute Monday. Thanks for joining us this week. Um, this week I'm going to give you a little tip on Tom phrasing. Um, and this is something that you may think this is simplistic, maybe not. A lot of the concepts I'm going to give you, um, I, I, I mean, d later down the road we'll delve into more technical stuff and I'll, I'll show you some of the flashier whatnot, but a lot of, uh, I mean, where I make my money every day playing drums is not the flashy stuff. I, I saw a cartoon the other day and I had a guy watching this drummer play all this flashy, crazy stuff. And in the first pane it said, wow, you're amazing. And in the second pane it had him playing a groove and it said, wow, you're hired. And that's kind of my whole mantra is that learn how to play the fun, flashy stuff, but if you don't know how to learn the to play the meat and potatoes. The meat and potatoes are what's going to put meat and potatoes on your table. So um, you got to know that. So um, something that I do, I don't know if other drummers do it or not. I, I just have always done it inherently. And it may come from the years of playing big band. And in big band, you really, really learn how to phrase um, with instruments. And uh, when you hear uh, somebody kicking a big band, um, and, you know, I, I've got, uh, I studied uh, arranging and composition, so I used to write a lot of big band charts and whatnot. Um, and you learn uh, to write phrase uh, notation for the brass. So the brass are going, you know, if, they, if they're doing like a, like a short note, then obviously, you know, you're not going to go, that's a long note. That that's you know. I mean, you can choke it. Okay. Or you can go. So I just want to show you something that I've always inherently done. I'm sure other drummers do it, but it's just something that I think is really cool. Um, and that is uh, this fill right here is in today's modern music is really powerful because of the way the drums are mixed with compression and stuff. So um, you'll hear me doing this a lot uh, in, depending on what studio I'm, I'm playing in. But... And then if there's a phrase where we call it, uh, like we'll put a house top on it. A house top means uh, like a short stab. Instead of a stop, it's like a it's like a really fast stop, staccato stop, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that one, what you're going to do is you're going to hit the, the snare and the floor time, and you're going to immediately choke it. So, Taylor, see if you can... Okay, so what I'm going to do is... See what I'm doing? And the snare... Here, the snare's going to have some sustain. It's a good tune floor tom. The way we talked about tuning it, it's going to have a lot of sustain. So, so that's something that uh, you may think, well, that's kind of simplistic. But if you incorporate that in your playing, all of a sudden your phrasing is going to come to life. So, uh, you know. A little tip uh, on how to how to do a, a staccato fill with the snare and the floor tom. It's very very effective. I wouldn't be doing a five minute money on it if, it if it weren't so effective. It's just something that you know. In other words, if you've got a guitar phrase or if you've got a phrase with the band and it's going, dee -dee 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 -ja, you're not going to go because your drums are sustaining. Everybody else is cutting off. You want your phrasing to match. The rest of the band. Dingy. No, it's like this. So, anyway, that's that. Um, don't take this fill for granted right here. That, that is a very, very powerful fill. And a lot of times, if I'm recording, 
I've done this uh, on, on records. Um, when, when you've got to stop and you want to fill, but you, you don't want to put a lot of stuff in there, you want it to speak and be simple, that's a great fill. Check that out and listen out for, uh, for phrase stops like that because they're very, very important. And it's just a little detail that if you don't understand it and if you miss it, 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 it just kind of takes away from the, from the uh, finer articulations of, of serious playing. So tweet me, leave a comment on the blog site, uh, send me uh, a Twitter. You know, I love, I love talking to people on Twitter. Um, when I can and I hope you have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye